Here we have the motorized vacuum chamber for the Graphic Skins Design Studio. This is a sponsored video so that I can show you the parts that are included in the box. As you can see, we get lots of decals, three different models. We get a creature, a shark, and I'm looking forward to doing this truck. There are refill packs available so you can choose a different theme. You will need to pick up four AA batteries to power the vacuum chamber. First thing I want to do is get my batteries installed. Let's do a quick test. Make sure that I had the batteries installed correctly. In the back you have a water reservoir tray because the vacuum's going to remove the water from the bag. Pop in the side supports. The instructions show you how to install the bag, but mine had the bag already attached, so I won't have to worry about that. The set comes with lots of decals. Some are full sheet, some are half sheet. Whichever you choose, you see these small parts? You're going to want to take your decal and trim it to the size of the part so that you don't have waste. I'm noticing I checked all the decals and even though the truck has four wheels that are the same design, I don't see enough decals to make all four wheels the same design. This part for the back of the truck looks like the simplest, nicest, flattest piece. So we'll go ahead and try this one first. Let's see, we're going to cut our sticker. I'm going to cut it in half. We don't need this half first off. Let's go ahead and take this out of the way. And in this part, let's see if we're going to do it right there. I'm going to allow a little bit for overlap on each side. Let me trim it about right there. Because we're not going to decorate, decorate this side. We're going to peel off the clear plastic. Yeah, that looks like it should be good enough. Let me get my other parts out of the way. You need some water. Because you're going to soak your sponge. And this is what's going to help your decal stick to your parts. I had too much water in my bowl, so I dumped some of it out. Let's go ahead and take our decal. I have it against my piece. You're going to take your sponge, wring it out. You want to keep some water in there, but you don't want it too wet. Now we're going to take it, wrap our piece. Does that, yeah, it looks right, right? Got it in the middle there. I might have taken out too much water. Hold on. Let's try that much. Take out just a little bit of water. And we're going to wrap it up. That's good. I feel like I have a decent amount of water there. I'm going to wrap it up. And that decal, the paper on the decal is now getting the water on there. Let's open our vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Stick it in the vacuum chamber. We're going to hold it tight. 20 seconds because it's going to suck the air out of the bag and that's what's creating the vacuum chamber. Silly goose. I forgot to attach the hose. How's it going to suck the air out if you don't attach the hose? Ready? 20 seconds. That's my 20. Now we're going to leave it there for 10 seconds. Now remember, it's sucking out the water. It's going to put that water in the reservoir tray in the back. So you're going to want to dump this back into your bowl after a while. It's about 10 seconds. Now we're going to take out our part.
you see the paper the paper's coming off I need to wrap this around Oh, I forgot. We have a tool. Now we can we can get out any air bubbles. Now the back doesn't matter, right? Because that's the part that's going to be snapped down. But just to keep it neat, let's go ahead and spread it out. Now I'm going to leave that part right there. And we're going to let that dry out. I'm going to go ahead and make the hood the same color with the rest of that piece. Go ahead and get my sponge. Let's start soaking it. Oh, I f did I peel off? Oh, I almost forgot. Peel it off. Get it on our piece. Let's set it on there. Since some of the water has been draining out, I'm going to turn my sponge upside down. Let's squeeze it. I'm holding it tight because I want that. Oh, let's get this. Let's wrap this around. Squeeze it. Put it in our vacuum chamber. Now that we got the holes attached, should work right the first time. 20 seconds. I did a few seconds extra because there seemed to be a lot of air in the bag. Now we're going to wait 10 seconds. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to take out our part. This time we got the handy tandy tool ready to go. Remember to open this slowly because we want to see where that decal is because it's not automatically stuck to it. It just kind of makes it wet and ready to work with. I'm going to keep this here now. This way I have control over the part and it's still in the paper. Let's press it down. Now let's go to the next part. Remember I had those bumps on the hood? So we're going to press down so that we get a little bit of the definition in the hood. Wrap it around. Looks good. Looks good. And then set it aside for it to dry. I'm going to do the rest of the parts real quick and I'll be back with the finished product. Just a quick note, the half stickers are not quite big enough to do the tires. You're going to have to use the full square sheet in order to do each tire. Actually, I shouldn't say you need to use the full square sheet. You're going to have to use the full sheet and then kind of trim it to about where you want so that it fits all sides of the tires. And then you can keep this for other smaller parts. Well, I got decals on all of the parts. And while those are drying, I'm going to talk about the motorized chamber. Under $30 at Target, Toys R Us, Walmart. Maybe you can find Robot Ape. That looks like it'd be fun too if you like to do that. And then when you want more decals, look. They got um, extra packs with different designs under $5. And you know what? Maybe you want to do your own thing. Maybe you want, maybe you have some toys that you would like to do yourself. If it fits inside, then you can do it.
If those trucks fit, maybe a Monster Jam truck. How many times have you gotten a Monster Jam with your Grave Digger? How many times have you gotten a Grave Digger in your sets? How many of these do you have? Well, guess what? He fits in the chamber too. If he fits, I can get Hot Wheels in there as well. I put blue wheels on the other side. For this side, I'm going to put red wheels. They snap right in. They're not on an axle. Just has a little post. Slide them right on. I already popped on the interior. And it doesn't quite roll perfectly, but the wheels do spin. Now let's go ahead and put the rest of the parts on. Pop on the bed. Here's the hood. Here's the grill. Maybe I should have put the grill first so this would be on top. Hey, there's my own custom little vehicle. Remember I told you about the Monster Jam trucks? If they fit, well, the reason I also picked Grave Digger because he has nice smooth edges. Check him out. Yeah, I did a Grave Digger. I got lots of Grave Diggers. He's in every set. So I have one, or maybe you played with one and he's all scratched up. So look, I gave him some flames out of the, uh, I don't remember if it was in this pack or another pack, put some flames on him. Now see this side, I left it covering the window so you know it would cover the window. Or if you have an X-Acto knife or if you can get someone to help you, look, I cut it out right there. So this way the windows opened up. Maybe same thing with Lightning McQueen. You get a lot of McQueens. He's in every set. Check him out. I used the sports pack. I turned him in a little baseball car. How do you think? Th what do you think about that, McQueen? Oh, he's all smiles. He likes that. And Hot Wheels, you see the model on the right? The name of that one is Stealth. And as you can tell, he's been played with. Some of the paint has been chipped off or, or rubbed off. I gave the Stealth a nice little paint job. Actually, it's not even a paint job. It's a decal. You put it right on there. You give them a little wrap. So it's something fun that you can do with your toys. Maybe the ones that need a, need a new decoration. You give them a little wrap. Maybe you just have extra cars. You want to play. You want a hobby. You want to do something creative, something unique. It's about having fun with your toys, right? Enjoy. Play with them. And it's kind of neat. You get to customize your own vehicles. It was pretty neat checking out this set. And for under $30, I can imagine that the young one that would like to create their own objects or customize their own toys, I think they'd like it. Oh, yeah. Blue Chamber, they got a pink one, too. Have fun with your toys. Bye-bye.